What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about Kyrie Irving base. This one here came from a lot of comment requests, so just let me know in the comment section what jump shots you want me to cover next. And this one here is for 6, 4 and under only, so if you want 6, 5 to 6, 9 range, just watch this video here on the channel. So now let's get right into it. So for those of you who already know how this one goes, you can skip this part here, but if you're new here, I need to round you through first. So basically, I'll be covering one base on this one, and every episode, I'll be adding a new one. So I'll be building these charts up video per video. So please keep supporting this series, so we'll have a huge library in no time. I'll be covering shot speeds and some other stuff that 2K charts don't show, like front drift, side drift, challenge reduction, file frequency, and some other visual comparisons. And just a quick disclaimer, I'm not judging these jump shots overall, I'll only rank them based on the part that I'm testing. So now for the first one, in terms of shot speed, Kyrie Irving base is at the third place so far. And to give you a visual perspective, here you go. Now for the next one, the side drift. And for those of you who don't know what side drift is, that's the sideway movement that a jump shot does when you shoot. And this one here is not just cosmetics because it will actually affect your coverage. And here this is Luca, and it's really drifting towards the weak hand side. And for the list, Kyrie Irving is the least stable one so far. Now for the next one, this one here is new, I know it's not that important, but while testing, I can easily take note of these anyway, so might as well include it. And here you can see, it's the best one so far. Don't focus much on the percentage, it doesn't mean that 20 plus percent of the time you'll be fouled, no. Just focus on the rankings and their gaps. The driving factor in this one is the front drift, and here you can see, Kyrie Irving has a lot of front drift, which attracts a lot of fouls. Now for the next one, the front challenge, which I think the most important part because it factors in a lot of things like your shot speed, front drift, release height, how it angles your player's body, pretty much everything. And since we don't have percentage feedback this year, I improvised a new method. I took 100 shots each base and scored each type of challenge, then we get the average. 3 for open, 2 for light pressure, 1 for tight, and 0 for block. I set it up in a way that even though I press the block and shoot buttons at the same time, it will give variety of results. And of course your jump shot is a major factor for those challenges. Now for the results, in terms of challenge reduction, Kyrie Irving is the worst one so far. Again, this one here is only pertaining to challenge reduction, so if you use Kyrie and all the time your shots are wide open anyway, just ignore this list. But if from time to time you get open and light pressures, maybe you can try Allen Iverson or some others. And to get more sense why despite of high grades on 2k charts, it's still low on the list, and here you can see, yes the elevation is there, but the front drift is just too much. There is a huge difference if you compare it to Allen Iverson. So that's it for this one, your likes and views will really keep this series going. So thank you guys for all your support, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.